The Nintendo Switch has been on the market since 2017, and after seven years of insane sales and momentum, it has finally begun to drop. Rumors about a Nintendo Switch 2 coming soon have been a thing for a couple of years now, with Nintendo themselves confirming their plans to keep the Nintendo Switch on the market for 7-10 to 10 years, coupled with Nintendo's track record of keeping a system on the market and supporting it for a few years following the release of their next system, speculation aside, it was a matter of time at this point. So with that in mind, hoping to keep the June Nintendo Direct's focus entirely on the Switch lineup for the rest of 2024 to finish out the Switch's last year as the main system strong, Nintendo's president tweeted out in early May that we will be having a June Nintendo Direct and it will be about the Nintendo Switch's last half of 2024 games, but also about something more exciting. He confirmed the existence of the Nintendo Switch's successor and that it will be revealed to us by the end of the 2024 fiscal year. It is finally happening, everyone! He also mentions how they announced the existence of the Nintendo Switch in May of 2025, which I find peculiar. Yes, it may have just been a nod to why he chose May to make this announcement, but I believe he chose to highlight the almost two-year gap in between announcement and release to get us off his tracks and make us think the Switch's successor is still a long way off till its release. But I think this is a smokescreen for the fact that the Switch 2 is coming very soon. In 2025 to be exact, the Switch's successor has been confirmed to be revealed to us by the end of the 2024 fiscal year, so by the end of March 2025. If we look back to the early days of the Nintendo Switch, it was officially revealed to us in October of 2016, to then be released in March of 2017, five months later. If we followed a similar schedule with the Switch's successor, which I believe they would, then if the system were to be announced during their September Direct when they would start building their 2025 game lineup, we could see the system released in February of 2025. Or if it were announced all the way at the latest time in the spectrum in March of 2025, then it could possibly be released around August of 2025. So 2025 is the year we will get the release of the next Nintendo system. What time of year is the real question? January and February seem unlikely to me. Nintendo previously stated they have plans to focus on the Nintendo Switch until the end of the 2024 fiscal year. Plus, most people are recovering from Christmas around that time, people with their finances, and companies with their restocking and such. March is a great month that they may choose to use again. People get their tax refund, well, if they even get one, this tax season was brutal. Spring has sprung and the year is starting to feel alive. Plus, having a direct in late February could really get us all hyped up leading up to its release in March. April and May are also great options. The new 2025 fiscal year will have officially started, meaning as far as our investors are concerned, all the growth will be contained to its own fiscal year and will be very promising for the future. The weather's nice if it's another hybrid system, as we believe it will be, for people to take it on the go. And it's generally a happy time of the year. June is also a great month too, because they could do a massive June Direct for its launch, giving us the first six months of release titles and creating a huge hype for the system right before launch. Plus, June and July are both great months because kids are out for summer, which is a sizable demographic to want to entertain with this new system. August and September are both great contenders, and also the latest I see this system getting released in the air, as any later and they could hit supply chain issues if they have launch and then Christmas that close together, which Nintendo has already stated they are preparing so that they don't have supply issues at launch. We already know this about the next system so far. Thanks to Key Partner Studio sharing details they were able to gather from development kits given to them by Nintendo. The next system will be able to use in a portable mode similar to the Switch, therefore it's likely another hybrid system. It will feature detachable controllers similar to the Switch's Joy-Cons, will be able to dock just like the Switch, has cartridges for its games, and will likely be more powerful than Gen 8 systems but not quite as powerful as current Gen systems like the PS5. We know a lot about the Nintendo Switch's successor, and we will likely learn even more as we get closer and closer to launch. I can't wait to see the rest of this story unfold as we get closer and closer to the reveal and the eventual launch of the Switch's successor. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoy it, I have a couple videos on the screen now that I think you'd enjoy. And please like this video so YouTube likes me. <laughs> also, subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so much and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!